welcome if you're new if you're here be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel the topics that we're making the cut for today 12 men listed wanted two confess to the killing of teacher natalie darkens guns and ammunition seized but viewers and subscribers, before we go down in our really comfortable boat, I want to go on a quick update upon the father who killed the son incident. So yesterday, I come forward and shown the CCTV footage of what took place. But today, I am going to give you an update on how the family feels. Ruan K9 could help but express his anger and sorrow at witnessing his older brother, 38 year old Ruel K9, being shot dead by their father on Monday at their family business, K9 Meat and Food Distributions. Nobody in the family can sleep. A bare tears my mother has shed. She not eat from morning. At least she can't eat any at all. The whole family mash up. His brother, he said, had three children and he is the breadwinner for his family. The country reacted with shock to the shooting for which the father has been in police custody. Senior Superintendent of Police Marlon Nesbitt, commanding officer for the St. Andrew Central, said that the father was likely to be charged, despite claiming self-defense. But up to press time last night, Nesbitt said that the man had not yet been charged. There is a process, he said. Police have reported that the 64-year-old father and son, a Jamaica college student, at a dispute which led to the fatal tragedy. Yesterday, Ruan K. Knight said that he went to the police station and saw his father in a cell. He said that the incident occurred after his father, who ran the family business for over 30 years, had an altercation with an employee. And both him and Ruel admitted that his father's action was wrong. He said Ruel's 14 year old son was on the property at the time and saw his father's body in a pool of blood. The man's son did dead it to him, did in at the lunchroom when him come out. Him know what go on, him see him father on the ground. Ruel is the strongest brother out of all away. When we as brothers will dead here and cry about some situation, Ruel not cry. Ruel tough it out same way. Me and Ruel grow from school days. And from we young, we are work at the business with our father, he said. Ruan and another brother, Ricardo, accused their father of having short temper. We are used to him behaving this way. I was the first victim of all of this. This is not today or yesterday incident. We try several sources for deal with this matter and we don't reach nowhere with it. Reporting it don't make any sense because all we do that, not no come out of it. I went to church, I went to pastor, I went to get counseling from people and none of that help Ricardo said. Added Ron, everybody get them share. That's how him deal with people and nobody can tell him say him wrong or tell him for calm down. Him believes say him never yet wrong. So with all that being said from the brothers or from the son, whichever way you want to put it, words on the street is that the argument was between the mother and the father at first over some money that the father wanted and the mother did not want to give him it. The people they must say is not the first nor the second time he might deal with the woman so even front of people him do it and as you hear the sons them confirm that this is not the first or the second time he might be so because them get used to it because him do it so often them get used to it but getting used to it them get tired of it also because you can't expect say you want to come and deal with your kids them mother a certain way in front of people especially in front of them they might go get pissed off by it they might go want to talk to you about it you understand and if you can't admit say you're wrong as a big man you're 64 year old and if you can't say, say you're wrong by yourself and then you're picking them to turn to you and say daddy you know something never like that way you do that wrong and then you still can't sit down and look within yourself and say you know so i'm do a foolishness me do well something seriously wrong with you and everything when me I say no, it still add up to what the son them are saying about them just now admit the fact say at them mother the altercation start with them disguise it as an employee in which all of them is basically an employee you know, because all of them work at the location. But what I'm saying is that how can you expect for deal with your child mother or for deal with any employee at that a certain way? And then you cannot take correction. You're ready for everybody. 
multiple persons stated that the father and the son always having disagreements so them could agree long before the incident so the father decides all right since you are the one who me can't take me i'm gonna take out everything for you as for me basically see me no know how to see people so viewers and subscribers me i'm gonna leave it right you spot it there i want to hear what are your thoughts on this story down in the comment section i want to hear if you feel like a self-defense the father do it alpha or what would you make me know what your thoughts down in the comment section the Denham Town Police have listed 12 people as wanted following an ongoing investigation in the division. The wanted individuals are being asked to report to the Denham Town Criminal Investigation Branch by midday today, April 14. Listed are Shane Williams, otherwise called Teddy, Rashawn Samuels, otherwise called Sonson, Dwayne Grant, otherwise called Billy, Siobhan Pine, others only known as their aliases. Elijah, Saddam, Witam, Lolo, Coca, Blue Blue, Bat to the Bone, and Gazaman. Meanwhile, the police are reminding citizens that it is a criminal offense to harbor or create a safe place for accused persons. The police yesterday said two men held in connection with the death of 44 year old Clarendon teacher Natalie Darkins have confessed to killing and have been charged with murder and other offenses. Deputy Commissioner of Police, DCP, in charge of crime portfolio, Fitz Bailey, announced that yesterday, 20-year-old labor of Sandy Bay District, Clarendon, Mr. Goburn, otherwise called Sharpman, and 19-year-old Marlio Edley had been charged with murder, burglary, robbery with aggravation, illegal possession of firearm and ammunition, and unauthorized access to identity information. The matter will be placed before court shortly. Several stolen items from Miss Darkins was recovered by the police, including her ATM card, which we realized that 60000 was withdrawn from the ATM by the two accused charged. The investigation continues. We have a strong case against the two who confessed to the killing of Miss Darkins, DCP Bailey said. The St. James Police say they have seized a firearm and several rounds of ammunition following an operation on Dapalene, Montego Hill in the parish on Tuesday, April 13. Reports are that a team of officers were on an operation in the area about 3.17 p.m. when a premises was searched and a Springfield rifle and magazine containing five 5.56 cartridges was found. No one was arrested in connection with the seizure. No one was arrested in connection with the seizure, the police said, adding that investigations are ongoing.